What's this one? This is a prawn and pork and chive dumpling. Equal quantities of minced prawn and minced pork. The prawns and pork are mixed with dark soy sauce and Chinese chives. That seems like a lot for a little mix. Lots and lots of garnish and lots and lots of flavour. And these just want little small money bags. Do you know what? For our celebrities, as complex as it seems, they can figure this out. They cook in about eight minutes, six to eight minutes. We're going to make a blended mixture of prawns with flavourings of ginger and garlic and a little bit of soy and a bit of sesame oil and blend. Unlike the dumplings, where you want the mixture to be lovely and free, you want the prawn mix to be quite solid and quite hard, so you can spread it. Just spread it all over, as if it's pâté. And then sesame seeds. Oh, wow. Like, like, literally smothered. Yeah, completely covered. And then just push them down, ready to go. Now, now you put all of that in a deep-fat fryer? Yeah. <laughs> Deep-fried prawn toast. If the prawn's not face down, it's in danger of not cooking all the way through. You want to be able to make sure the prawn is cooked before the bread is cooked. Take your prawn toast out. Turn the steamer off. How do we know when they're cooked? We know they're cooked when the scallops go translucent, and the other ones, you can actually see the mixture in the middle of it. The dumplings and prawn toast are served with three dipping sauces vinegar and soy, soy mirin and lime, and a sweet chilli sauce. They won't be able to make those sauces properly if they don't taste them. No, absolutely not. Absolutely stunning. Two dumplings, sesame prawn toast, three sauces. John, there's a lot to do there. The most important thing, do not boil your stock. Simmer it gently and let all the flavours infuse. The skill is the amount of flavour they can capture in that stock. That's it, and already you can start to smell it. It's starting to really come alive. And now the noodles. The noodle dough is made from a blend of equal quantities of rice flour and plain flour. No egg. What holds it together? Water and starch. Don't put too much water in, otherwise it'll be too wet. What consistency are you looking for? So if you look in the bowl now, there's a little bit of flour left in the bottom, but the sides are absolutely clean. Remarkable. That's remarkable. Now to roll out the noodles. Um, I think this is going to be the most difficult part of it all. And it's got to be covered with flour all the time. Because if, if you don't cover it with flour, it will get too sticky to handle. Fold it over. And then you're going to cut through it. John, I think we've got to accept that our celebs are going to give us big, thick, clumpy noodles. I mean, you've got oh, to Oh, I hope not. Oh, they're not going to be able to do that, are they? So not sticking together, nice and loose. So how do you know when the noodles are cooked? They come to the top, and you'll see them, they become free from each other. Noodles go straight in the bowl. The noodles are topped with sliced duck breast. You're slicing that duck really thinly so the heat of the stock can penetrate it? That's it. Chopped chilli and spring onion. Now to strain the stock. Ooh, lovely. It's the noodles I'm worried about. 